Hey guys, this is Rod012, and I'm back. For some reason, it always seems like I'm super loud on my on my little thingy of volume. But, yeah, let's hope I'm not. <laughs> I'll put it down just a little bit, but I think I'm going way too far with putting down the volume, even though it looks really loud here. Alright, I think that's good. Alright, let's keep on going. So, uh... Um, you guys might notice because I'm talking about the volume again, but this is a completely new day for recording. Me. Julie, my dear, I am trying to run a business here. You want to spend time with my honeybees? Well, I'm gonna have to start charging you for the pleasure. If I come out one more time and find you lolling out there amongst my hives, I'm grabbing my shotgun. As to your question, yes, my days in beekeeping school are a blur. But I do seem to remember something about that enzyme you keep blabbing on about. Alright. And that's going to be with the bee lady, apparently. Oh, uh, there it is. Oh, grab the shotgun and shot her. Very fitting. With your story. Alright, so. Let me tell you guys about the story of what happened today and how yesterday, uh, yesterday and how yesterday finished. So I, I told you guys I hadn't slept for like 32 hours, and that is true. And I actually went on to keep to not sleep for a total of 35 hours. I was stayed awake for a little bit after that, editing and uh, getting the videos ready to post. But, um, and after that, what? Hey, buddy. Hmm. I like the music here. So yeah, <laughs> anyway. I went on to stay awake for 35 hours and then slept for... Okay. Core is officially too low. Keep on. There you go. Thank you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, it didn't get me. And then I went on to sleep for um, about 18 hours. Something I had never done before. Complete. Okay. But I like to use you guys. So yeah, I've never slept or stayed awake for that long in my whole life. That was pretty interesting for me. Uh, it's pretty amazing that like what I did is because I was I wasn't at my own house for for this for the for that night. That is kind of why I stayed awake. Oh, for that long. Ah, uh, uh, I'm a little bit slow on the trigger. Come on, let's do it. This, this is a little bit more time. So yeah, uh, I stayed awake a whole night, and uh, never really done that. It was really fun though. I, I had a lot of fun. And, uh, I can't find words to say. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You got me again. No, you didn't. Ah! Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do this. I don't even care. I can do this. I believe in myself. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, what am I doing? This one. 
Saved it. Oh. This one is extremely convenient. There. There you go. Probably doesn't have anything good in it. Well, it kind of does. And I can't get any of it. Get back to the camera. Oh, there you are. There we go. Can I get one more? No. This one's an easy one. Alright. What decides if they're hard or easy to hack? That's something I've been wondering a little bit about. Because it seems like some of them are extremely hard and then they are extremely easy. So I don't really understand what in the game decides if they are hard or not. It, I'd like if there was kind of a of a something that showed that because if it's not escalating in difficulty as the game goes, I don't see the the point of have of showing the difficulty. Obviously you go in knowing like, oh this is probably gonna be easier. Oh this is probably gonna be harder. But that alone should not be like a reason to have one. This is a good situation. Hey, Mr. B. Check it out. It's OP now. Down you go. There you are. No, no, no. And, and yeah, as the last thing I said, actually I was, I was doing pretty well for not sleeping 32 hours last time I did this. You saved me. I actually had good stuff to say. Go figure. Uh, I said the more animations for the little sisters. Whoa. Reload it. Is that quick reload? What was happening there? Oh, okay. Well, that was kind of weird. Where's the camera? Where? Why do I see it? Oh, there it is. Alright, let's burn it. But yeah, this this game has it's almost perfect in how it was made. It's just like minor, minor things that could be changed and would have made it perfect. And it's also like really small things. It doesn't really matter. Animations of, of the little girls, who cares? Who cares? Really, when it gets down to it, it happens a lot. If it happened too like a lot more and it was always the same one. I can't. 
Look at this. Isn't this ridiculous? Look at this. What am I supposed to do? Whatever, I'm not. Ah, that's stupid. Okay, is there anything here? I'm gonna have to freeze you again. Or why don't I just... Yeah. That makes my life a little bit easier. Hey, lady. No, not camera. This out. And that's just another little problem I found. Is that... Sometimes it doesn't change the weapon. When you ask it to change the weapon, it just stays on the same one. That one is kind of has to do with the gameplay, so it's kind of it kind of matters. Doctor Su Chong, frankly, I'm shocked by your proposal. If we were to modify the structure of our commercial plasmid line as you propose, to have them make the user vulnerable to mental suggestion through pheromones, would we not be able to effectively control the actions of the citizens of Rapture? Free will is the cornerstone of this city. The thought of sacrificing it is abhorrent. However, we are indeed in a time of war. If Atlas and his bandits have their way, will they not turn us into slaves? And what will become a free will then? Desperate times call for desperate measures. What are you guys thinking? Uh, not you guys, the viewers, but you guys. I am a star, not you! Come here and say that to- No, I finished research on you. Well, okay, that works. Um, you're dead, lady. I'm sorry. Let's get my favorite one back in here. And let's follow the arrow. Ow. Thank you. One out of seven. In ten years in this dump, I've come to accept a very low standard of life. But even at the bottom of this fish tank, a man must have standards. The pathetic prodigy down at Morley Winery has started putting water to his terrible wine. Water! When I confront him with this fatty, he tells me, Pierre, this is not to worry. The, the water, she is distilled. It could be worse. I could take it right from the ocean. Huh. We have turned away from your life. A rapture reminder. Okay. They clearly want you to do this, so. I just want to do it. There you go. Yeah, it's gonna blow. There you go. No, 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 no. The only bad thing about this is we have to wait for so long. There you go. Hey, buddy. And it makes more sense when they. makes more sense when they die in infinite burnt because are really hurting me these come on I thought you were actually going to give me a, a preview of that. Uh, I'd rather buy these.
Always seems to be low on Eve. Ow. Okay. Recorder. that for this area it's better if I actually have a weapon out but I'll have the camera out just for the sake of it because I don't want to hey Where are they coming from if the door is locked? back. This is a really simple area. It's just kind of annoying to have to find all of them. Nope. No. Someone's gonna try attacking me? Really? Where is it? Reload. Let's go through the other side again. I just need one more, and I'll be good. There it is. Come on, you fuck. Fight me properly. Dude, are you running away? Hey. Ready to go. And that was getting B stuff. It's like really simple. Ah. Keep on going. So much simple. It's so simple just to do that. Ooh. 
Ooh, I went a little bit too long with this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you guys later.